you gotta do. Hey, let me tell you guys, we start off the show on a high with the most anticipated event, Boys to Men, which went down over the weekend. Now, let me tell you guys, that show, ah, that show, I, I don't know if there's a show that will beat that one this year because it was just top notch. Boys to Men were there performing with all white from whatever they had on top to their shoes. Let's just check it out. After weeks of media hype, it was finally time to leave the talk. The Stan Bikietu Festival officially happened over the weekend at the historic Uhuru Gardens. Selling out on all tickets weeks before, it was one of the most anticipated this year, definitely not one to miss. First, the musical lineup scored all strong check, being a rhythm and blues edition, having Saudi Soul kickstart the evening was such a great idea. Saudi Soul held it down the Saudi Soul way, ascertaining why they are the best in this music industry. The band took us down memory lane of all their great tunes that have defined a party life in the 254. Saudi Soul remains one of the best performers that we have had around. And then the moment everyone was waiting for finally dawned with the boys to men entering and taking to the stage their way. Boys to Men, one of the most iconic R&B groups in the history of music, leave a mark wherever they go worldwide. The group has been a key figure in influencing and redefining popular music and continues to create timeless hits that appeal to fans across all generations. The band has spent and performed some of the most celebrated and best-known classics of the past two decades.
With four Grammy Awards and a 25 music career, their music traversed and crossed many borders and Kenya was their first leg to their first ever African tour. They will also perform in Uganda and South Africa. a show that left attendees with engraved memories good enough to last them till they make another visit in the 254. <laughs>